Hey everyone, it's me, Mr. Jones, and I'd like to welcome you to another uh, Second Step lesson. Today's Second Step lesson is going to be about using self-talk. Uh, but before we even get to that lesson, let's go back and review what we talked about last week, which are focusing your attention and listening skills. If you look at the Second Step card on your screen, we had talked about how the students were paying attention to their teacher and what skills were needed in order for that to happen. So let's go back over what we talked about in last week's lesson. These are the skills that are used for learning. And uh, we talked last week a little bit about concentrating, about using your eyes, your ears, and your brain and ignoring distractions. Also, we talked about listening, which is focusing on the speaker, using your eyes, your ears, and your brain, waiting your turn to speak, because sometimes when we hear something that's really interesting, we kind of want to jump in midway through the sentence before the person has even finished what it is that they're talking about. Uh, the next thing you want to do is remember what it was that you heard, because that's important, because you're going to be uh, responding back to them. And you may want to think of questions that are interesting to the person so that they can respond to you um, using the questions that you give to them. So that's what we talked about. That's a little bit of a review of what we talked about in the first lesson. And we're going to be using that a lot in the second lesson as well with using self-talk. So let's get started with our lesson. Now, this is Omar. And as you can tell, he's trying to work on a book report that his that was assigned to him by his teacher. Uh, but distractions are making it hard for him to stay focused and on task. Now, I want you to focus your attention on this picture. What are some of the distractions that you notice in this picture with Omar? Go ahead, take a second. Look, look at the picture and think about what are some of the distractions. Now, the, one of the biggest distractions you can tell is his desk partner, because it looks like she is just talking away. Um, the second thing that you notice is that there are people in the background, and I'm sure it's it could be a little bit distracting um, listening to not only his table partner's um, conversation, but hearing the other conversations that are in the background. Now, Omar is having trouble staying focused and on task because of the distractions. Now, let's go back to our card here. We talked about focusing attention. We've talked about listening skills. Let's go to using self-talk. Now, you talk to yourself in your head or using a quiet voice. Now, these are, these, these are some of the things that we're going to say to ourselves. We're not going to blurt them out, but we're going to say them like really in a low voice or we're going to say it in our head. And if you look at the, the second step card, it says focus, ignore distractions. What do I do next? And my favorite, to calm down. Now, telling yourself to focus attention on the most important thing can help you stay focused and on task. Now, what would you say to yourself in your brain or whispering if you were Omar? What could you say? You could probably say stay focused. You could probably say ignore her. Or he could probably say um, concentrate. Now, self-talk helps you ignore distractions so that you can stay focused and on task. Now, Omar uses self-talk to help himself ignore the distractions. He's able to stay focused and get his book report done. Respectful learners use self-talk. When you use self-talk, you can say a variety of things to yourself that are going to help you stay focused and on task. Now, I know for me, some of the things I could probably say in this situation that Omar is in is 
I really need to look at this book. And it's okay to say to that person, I would really love to talk to you, but I really need to get this report done. But if you're talking to yourself and you don't want to be rude, you can say to yourself, let me listen to them for another two minutes. And then I need to tell them I need to finish this book report. Or I need to say to myself, wow, okay, breathe. Um, do some belly breathing. I need to do some belly breaths. Um, I need to count because I'm getting really frustrated or I'm getting really angry or I'm getting really anxious right now. And so these are things that you can say to yourself to keep yourself focused and on task. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little time and we are going to hear be a learner. Now, when you hear the words self-talk, I'd like for you to stand up. Be respectful. Yeah, yeah. Be skillful. Yeah, yeah. Be a learner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be respectful. Be skillful. Be a learner. Yeah, yeah. You come to school to learn. Well, there's lots of things to see and do. So make the most of it. The power inside of you. Focus attention. Listen with the ears, eyes, and brain. Use your self-talk. Be assertive that you will gain. The listen is starting up. Your eyes and ears are focused in. When someone starts to talk, show your respect by listening. Focus attention. Listen with the ears, eyes, and brain. Use your self-talk. Be assertive and you will gain. Be respectful. Yeah, yeah. Be skillful. Yeah, yeah. Be a learner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be respectful. Be skillful. Be a learner. Yeah, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. I think you've got it. Keep saying skill tags. Ignore distractions, that's the key. And when you need some help, be sure to ask assertively. Focus attention. Listen with the ears, eyes, and brain. Use your self-talk. Be assertive and you will gain. Be respectful. Yeah, yeah. Be skillful. Yeah, yeah. Be a learner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be respectful, be skillful, be a learner. Yeah, yeah. All right. Today, we practice using self-talk to ignore distractions. Now, self-talk helps, helps you stay focused and on task. What are, what's an example of self-talk that you would use to help you ignore distractions? I kind of gave you a hint. If you look at the card, these are some of the things that you can say to focus your attention, to listen, and not only that, to use self-talk when you're feeling a specific way. You can say things like focus, ignore distractions, what do I do next, or calm down. Talking to yourself in your head or in a quiet voice will help you learn. Thank you for uh, coming to this week's second step lesson on using self-talk. I look forward to speaking with you all again soon. Take care.